<laughs> uh, the whole thing is awesome in a way, you know. <laughs> yeah, so we're alive. Know? We're alive. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast, Josh. Mercy for the first time. Yay! I finally made it here. Mama, yeah. I made it. First timer. <laughs> Mama's, yeah. Mama's, Mama's girl. Mama's girl too. <laughs> 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 Uh, and we got Josh. Um, sorry, Mo. Motherfucking Mo. <laughs> <laughs> Mo six. <laughs> yeah. So welcome, guys. What is what is what is happening? A lot, <laughs> in a way. First of all, how was your night? Awesome. <laughs> it was actually Josh. awesome. Yeah. First of all, I have to apologize because I had to take permission from my mom before I come <laughs> over here. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, wow. What yeah. an what an um incredible story we've, uh we heard <laughs> yesterday. Yeah. And we got a lot of people with different opinions and some people are pissed, some people are excited, some people are celebrating. Some people are in between. Some people are hurt. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? What do you make of the whole situation? Well, personally, I I'm actually excited mm-hmm. about everything that happened in a way, you know. Um him <laughs> being a mama's boy is not how would I even put it? It's not like the basis of what a man is supposed to be, mm-hmm. you get in this generation. But I think him keeping his resources with his mom at this point of his life is actually genius. You get Wow. Because when when you check people that have been where he was mm. and what happened to them after they lost everything, mm. after 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 they retired from football, footballers have always been victim of stuff like this. Yeah. And the truth is a lot of women marry them not because they're in love with them, just to get what they, they think they can get from them. And then when they're done getting the fame, the money, and the, the fame, I think, when they're done getting the fame, you know, when your, your husband is retired, you no longer get invited to those exclusive events and everything. And then the only thing left is the small money he has. 80% of those women take everything the man has and leave. They can be with him through thick and thin, but when he is no longer relevant, they bounce. And this is not something that has happened now. So I think um, in the case of Hakimi, he just he just went ahead of the whole stuff. Coupling with the fact that the person he married is not as young as he is. True. She's factos. <laughs> she's she's <laughs> like thirty six. She's thirty six and he's twenty four. Mm. That means she was she was twelve, half of his present age when uh, she met him at 19 you get she met him at 19 but at 19 he was he was he, he was actually playing ball then mm, yeah it was not like yeah. she met him when he was still in morocco she met him i think they met when he was playing when he was an at dortmund okay. if i'm not mistaken he he played for madrid then but yeah. he was on loan in dortmund that was when they met yeah and then even at that he was not who he is now he wasn't earning over a million euros every month, but he was he still had money. Mm. He had money and then he was he was not just a nobody. He he was actually a somebody to have met her at that point of his life. Mm. And they've been together for a while and then now this is happening. This whole I think this whole drama started a while ago. Like I think two months ago, if I'm not mistaken, when the whole rape case came to light, and actually he was accused, and I think if I'm not mistaken, the the, the case is still still pending. Yeah, it's not like they've concluded everything, so he's neither guilty or innocent. Yeah. Then the wife said she's not doing. I think the basis of everything we heard yesterday, most people said she wants to divorce him because of the rape case. So if that is the case. She wants to divorce him. Fine, divorce him and go. Why do you think I you're I entitled think to his money? I think they also emphasize on, like, cheating. Not just, like, the rape. He, he probably maybe did not do it. But then he was <laughs> cheating on her. Okay. <laughs> is that a good point? Well, if there is rape, it means there is cheating. Yeah. 
Yeah, so people are not even talking about the, the rape. rape. They're talking about the cheating. The cheating. Okay. Okay, Just in case the rape didn't go through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, I, I, I think I, ha- I had this discussion with someone <laughs> yesterday. I said she, she has a lot of backup plans. If the rape doesn't work, she would accuse him of cheating. Yes. Okay. But let's, let's see, let's that's see that, it like this. That's solid. Okay. <laughs> let's see it like this. Mm. We, the world we live in right now, right? Um, there are men that are alpha male in their own cabal. Uh, <laughs> Let's say it like Pete. this. Yes, <laughs> yes. And then, Tate is actually on some guys. <laughs> and then, uh, this is alpha. Love, I love me some Tate. <laughs> <laughs> I love me some Tate too because I don't love 100% of him, but he's, 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 he's nice. I think he's a nice person and Mm. He's doing a lot for the male gender. Have you met him? No. <laughs> you you <laughs> speak so, so as, high of no, him. No, and so has ni- <laughs> 99% of the people uh-huh. who are against him. Wow. Very few people have met it. That's the truth. Yeah. Mm. Like, Actually. apart from last year or two years ago when he became popular. I heard he's out of prison. Yeah, he came out last week. Oh, that's awesome. We are, we are glad to have you back. <laughs> so coming, coming yeah. back to the whole um, <clears throat> cheating allegation see when you're dating these people eh? mm-hmm. when you're dating people that are, are stars being it actors being it musicians being it ballers or anybody in the entertainment industry a celebrity yeah a celebrity in a whole there's one thing me i've told myself we, we won't say um all of them cheat but the truth is when you're when you're attractive and you're rich you're famous and successful. You have a lot of traffic coming from left, right, and center. Yeah. So, and then, you might not say no to all of them. Mm. That's the plain truth. When you have, uh, let's say, an average guy now who's not rich, who's just doing okay, and is cute and has the same, um, I don't want to say facilities, the same physique and everything, and <laughs> Hakimi has at this point, okay. you realize that a lot less girls are coming for him compared to Hakimi and where he is right now. Yeah. Like, if he wasn't who he is today, if he wasn't, uh, if he, if he isn't uh, Mo- um, one of the best Moroccan player, mm. and if he isn't one of the best players at PSG at this moment, let's say he was just playing for uh, a club in Morocco. Mm. He would meet less ladies. Less ladies would be attracted to him. And less ladies would even know him. You get. But being it, being it that he's, he's in France. Like, it's like some people don't even know what France, where France is. You get. France is like one of the biggest countries and the one of the most developed countries on earth. Where you have people coming in and out every day from every location on earth. And then this guy is seeing everywhere like mm. he's seen from girls that are from every part of the world supermodels instagram models all kinds of models in a day a guy like that would, would get asked out by girls at least 50 times so you mean it's it's quite difficult for a star to avoid ladies yes and that's the truth that most most people are trying to run away from run away from yes like that's the truth like if if you're let's say even if you're rich and not popular but mm. the traction you get is less compared to when you're rich and famous you get yeah people slide in their dm every day like a random like people you are not even you don't even think you are on their level you would see them sliding in <laughs> so, so <laughs> based on your analysis, you, you mean when you're dating a star, you have it at the back of your mind that this guy or this particular person will see a lot of ladies. Yes. So you're like, you're okay with him cheating. Is that what you're saying? I'm not okay with him cheating, but cheating shouldn't come as a surprise. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. You get because he's getting it from everywhere. And whether you like it or not, Mm. whoever you are um, your man just has to prioritize you op- and put you first in everything he does because the truth is there would be there would always be people that are finer than you richer than you sexier than you you get 
Yeah, and then yeah, sure. there, w- there would even be a girl that has all of your good ca- uh, qualities and none of your bad qualities. That yeah. means she's, she's superior to you when it comes to character. You mm. get maybe those things he don't want in a woman, he don't get from that girl. So, but if, if he loves you enough, that's when he would say no to such people. But then the truth is, n- not everybody. It's not. It's not even only to the male gender. It's both ways, you know. We've seen we've seen ladies that have rich husbands, very successful, cute, like people that other girls are dying for, but they've still been caught cheating. Because as <laughs> you know, <laughs> in this life, uh, there's always this thing that there's th- always this one thing that everybody doesn't have. What's that? Maybe she wants. It it varies. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Maybe yeah. maybe when the woman wants money now, the guy might not have money. When she wants attention, the guy doesn't give her attention. And he has money. He has money. But no so attention. Uh, like one of my <laughs> friends would always say, she said, um, <laughs> you just have to choose one of the two. It's either you get... Money or attention. Yeah, money or time himself. Huh. Not even attention. <laughs> but money you, is time. You choose one that you can manage yeah, with. Time is right? time is actually money. So you have to just pick one. Do you want a man that has time and doesn't have money or do you want a man that has money but doesn't have time what do you want Me? personally yes personally i think i <laughs> <laughs> preferably i would want someone that has boots but if i can't have <laughs> boots <laughs> hey? but you just say that you cannot get <laughs> no, someone that has that's boots that's i said if i that's what i want but i can't get it okay you get. but if i am to choose between time and money at this point in my life i'll choose a man with money and that's At the truth. what point in your life would you choose? At this point in my life, um, a man that has time. Maybe when I'm when I'm when I'm rich and successful. Okay. You get when I have my money, and then money is not a determining factor for anything. You get like right now at the, at this point in my life, I would want a man that can make me see the world. You know, it should be go traveling should be something I would. Like going places should be something I would say, ah, I don't want to go today. Oh, Not like okay. something I can't do. <laughs> <laughs> you get like mm. it should be like it should be my choice, okay. And baby, should we go to France today? And I'll be like, ah, I'm not in the mood. I just want to stay in. Yeah. But at this point <laughs> in my life, anybody that <laughs> says, Ah, mercy. You're on the move. Do you have passport? Okay, let's go. Let's go and get visa. <laughs> we'll travel next week to France. I'm bouncing. Because I, I, I want to actually see the world. This is who I am. And then at this point in my life, I can't afford it. Yeah. And but I have there time. Is, there is this question with regards to uh, Hakimi's wife. Is it that uh, she does not trust him or what? He's at the center of allegation. This is a, a difficult moment for him. And she wants to leave. And she wants to leave. Not just leave. She wants to leave with uh, his fortunes. Half of it. Yeah. First things first. I think she's. I'm not even thinking. She's just. I don't want to say gold digger before they would come for me. <laughs> but she's an opportunist. She, she got an opportunity and she's with him and then he's making this money, and then she just feels okay. I need to go now. Like initially, I I feel. I feel and I believe. I can only say what I feel and what I believe because I'm okay. not her. Okay. I feel I believe um, she never liked him. She never, she never loved him. Never him, loved him in the first place. Yes. Okay. She never loved him genuinely because he's not the first person that has been accused of stuff like that. He's not the first person that has cheated on his wife. And then wow. I'm, I'm not in any way saying women should tolerate abusive and toxic relationship. Oh. <laughs> but when you have, when you know what you have is worth fighting for, you would stay. You get. So Hakimi is not worth fighting for? To her, he's not. If not, she would have stayed with him. The guy just started having issues two, three months ago. And when, then when they met, who, who was richer when he was 19? At that point, I think they said he was earning like 80-something thousand pounds a week. So he was getting like roughly 360-something thousand pounds a, a month. month. And net worth, the one I saw yesterday, they said she's worth 3 million euros. So I believe he was richer than her. Because 
as hmm? an athlete, you have sponsorships. The, the eighty thousand uh, euros is it after tax? Or? Yeah, it's it sh- no, it should be because you know in Spain tax. they pay they pay a lot of tax yeah, in Spain. Yes, they pay a lot of, but you don't give fifty. I'm not sure it's up to fifty percent of your pay. I'm not sure, well, but I'm not sure it it's be up, up to fifty. To, yes, I'm. Yeah. I'm sure it's not up to fifty yeah. percent of your pay. Which even if it was fifty percent of his pay, he would still be earning a hundred and twenty. And then that was then. So at that point, she actually saw the future in him. That at some point in his life, we have started having this. <laughs> let's let's hear other people's opinion. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Who is on the line? Where are you calling from? Yeah, it's Douglas from Rafin Zufi. Okay, Douglas from Rafin Zufi. You've yeah. heard our conversation? Yeah, I just came online and I saw it, even though the voice is not that coming out. Okay, the okay. voice is not very audible. We are actually yeah. talking about Hakimi and his wife, the situation that popped out yesterday. Yeah. What is your take? Well, this is cultural talk, so I just said we should look at it from a cultural perspective. Yeah. <laughs> okay. we've, been, we've, we've, been, we've been judging this particular issue based on our culture down here. We didn't even bother to look at what they believe and their values and their practices out there. Now, what am I trying to see? I don't celebrate Hakimi's action, but let's consider this. What exactly is his action here? Now, his action of um, registering his mom okay. as his next of kin. Okay. You understand? Okay. I, don't, I don't really celebrate it. Some African footballers have been frustrated by this divorce and sharing of half of the man's properties and money by the European women, mostly leaving them broke and frustrated. Mm. Now, he is not a Christian. I am a Christian. He is a Muslim by faith. Mm. Following the biblical standard, there is no place for divorce and sharing of half of the man's wealth and property. Right? Yeah. Aha. Uh-huh. And he is from Morocco. And Morocco is partly Arab. Arab culture values murders. So I, I, I really think from their own cultural perspective, what he did was right. Yes, but exactly. The way people, but the way people are dragging the issue is as if um, there is any culture that has the mon- monopoly of um, right, rightness. Mm-hmm. I don't know whether you are understanding. Yeah. Uh, the way we are dragging it down here, especially in Bauchi, is as if there is a religion or culture that has this monopoly of doing things that people should consider it as the right thing to do. Yeah. yeah. So, really, what um, what I have to say is we should really look at it from the cultural and religion that they practice over there. You will see it that what he did should not be totally castigated. Uh, okay, Mr. Douglas, in your own opinion, in your own Sir? opinion, Mr. Yeah. Douglas, based on these cultural beliefs and the rest, what do you think about the whole matter? Uh, based on what? Based on uh, the cultural beliefs, he's from Morocco, and Moroccans yes. they actually yes, he, hold their he, mothers in high esteem. Yes, I I I think. So he's right. We, Are you saying? Yeah, I I I think we see we see what he did as <laughs> many of us see it as if um, it is not right that he should make his mother as uh, his own next of kin. I've been following it, and so I've been seeing all this. So was it right for him to do that? Pa- pardon? Was it right for him to do that as a Moroccan? Yeah, it's right. That is that is how they practice it down there. 
That is most of their practices down there. They, they, they do it down there. Registering your mother as your next of kin is, is the right oh thing. It's not, wrong. it's not wrong to do it down there. Okay. How about her own action, his wife's action? Her own action? Yes, for filing a divorce when he was in the center okay. of all these allegations. I, and the rest. I really, like I said, I am a Christian. I don't believe in divorce. And the Bible didn't give us well, any... The people we are talking about here aren't uh, Christians. So. so based on that perspective... Yeah. Let's assume... Um, we're not even assuming. They are... I think the woman is also a Muslim. He caught me if I'm wrong. But he is... And his religion permits it. Yes. So, but one thing his religion doesn't permit is a woman taking half of his wealth after divorce. Yes. I'm not a Muslim, but that I can say 80%. Like I'm 80% sure of what I just said now. Yes. Someone can quote me wrong, but based on the Muslims I've stayed with and the ones I've seen divorce, I've never seen a wife. She would always pack what you came with and go. You don't take anything that belongs to the husband. Yes. Because, you know, there because are, another wife is coming. Yes. <laughs> and, their, and, 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 and their culture is actually different from ours in the sense that we as Christians, we believe in, okay, when you get married, you change your name to your husband's name. The Muslims don't do it. Yes. So that, you and that, your husband are just like, you're just like friends. We're staying together. We are living uh, under hey, the, that, the same roof, that, but at that, any time we can end and go. That concept of oneness is attributed to monogamy, actually. And this yeah. guy is, is polygamous. Yes. He has open check to marry more than, more than one wife. You yes. understand? And, and we have so, to put it into consideration that uh, the wedding between the couples was a court wedding. Meaning there was an agreement. When so things are not going right, there is an agreement. Hello, can you be a little bit audible? You can't hear us. Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, okay what I was saying was, uh, the, the wedding that was done between the couples was a court wedding. Uh oh, I think the network is fluctuating. Are you hearing us? Maybe you should call us back. Uh <laughs> well, actually, what he said was, was right. The well, truth is, in he Islam, said a lot of things yeah, now. in Islam, there's this. Yeah, he was not <laughs> joining them the way we understand. Yeah, you get in Islam, <laughs> bar, your mother comes first. Your mother is counted, I think, four times before your father comes into place. Mm. Like, you know, Islam is a is a religion that values women, so your mother comes first in everything. So him. Being of sound mind and health, you need you need your <laughs> your mother's blessings. Yes, and I had I based on what you know, most of these things are just hearsay because Akimi has not come out to tell anybody anything. Based on what I read, they said even before he got married, his, his properties has always been with his mother. Really? It has always been I in her name. Douglas. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm back. All right, okay. Mr. Douglas. Yes, sir. Welcome back. Thank you. Uh, what I was saying was, uh, yes, the wedding sir. between the couples was, was a court wedding. So while we are trying to uh, sort this uh, situation, let's talk as per based on court wedding. Yeah. Can you, can, 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 can you, can you be more divorced, sir? What yeah. did you get now, Josh? Yes, can you hear me now? Uh, Josh, I can hear you. Go ahead, I'll say it. <laughs> okay, what I'm saying is they actually had a court wedding. So in, in trying to, to find a, a, an opinion on this matter, we yeah. need to talk as per court wedding. You know, when, when two people get married in the court, there are agreements, there are prenups. Yeah. So it's yeah. after split, it is based on this agreement that uh, the divorce will be completed. So I want us to be talking based on that aspect, not based on our cultural or religious belief. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The, the 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 reason the reason why the reason why I 
I talk about culture, which is simply because culture and religion are some of the factors that influence marriage psychology, right? Yeah, yeah. So I think our, if, if we want to judge this right without, without trying to make somebody look more evil than the other, mm. we need to consider these two, 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 two perspectives. We need to put them into consideration. Okay, so what are you saying now? Now I I I, I am saying that that sister was saying something about um, the woman. Understand her action. My name is Mercy. Mister uh, <laughs> Mercy. Mercy was saying Mercy was saying that she has stayed with some Muslims, and these are some of the things they do. You know, you cannot separate us from our religion and our beliefs. Am I right? Yeah. So no matter how we try to make it look like this is our take on this, we need to bring in religion and the things we believe in. Well, for me, as far as the court is concerned, when the court judge this, <laughs> they actually they don't like bring religion or culture into it as far as the court is concerned. So that's, Everything that, is yeah. done according to the law. And, and you know the West, the, the law comes first. Unlike we in Africa and the Arab nations, whereby our religion comes first, then our our culture and our religion comes first. But down there in the West is actually law. Yes, yeah, law can for we, everything. Can, can we can we now agree? Can we now agree that these are some of these are the two factors that are that are influencing uh, our judgment down here? Yeah, that's true. Oh. It oh, okay. is for that's for some people though, but not for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's I, that's that's actually for some people, but it's not everyone that believes in. Um, we're talking about religion and culture because I think every for me the perspective I saw this whole stuff had nothing to do with religion and yeah. and and his culture. He's he's an, he's actually African. He's Arab too, and. Those are part of who he is, but this case has nothing to do with either his religion yeah, or his yeah. culture. Yeah, okay. Even okay. if you are to okay. go with African culture, the marriage will not okay. even take place in the first place because she's older okay. than him. Hello. 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 <laughs> <laughs> no. no, but things are changing. Even in, even in Africa, we have we have people that are married to people that are, they're older than. He's way older than, and he's nineteen. Mercy, he mercy. 19. Yes, sir. Mercy, can can we can we agree that all this this law that we are talking about they all emanate from religion and culture? Don't you think so? Not all of them. Uh, most of most of them, especially uh, laws that are guiding marriage and all that uh, i not they come from religion and culture see um maybe maybe around where we are here but uh, yeah. in the west those europeans and americans and the rest they don't they don't actually believe in all of these stuff that's why a lot has changed when it comes to marriages okay where 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 do you think their laws emanate from maybe it comes it comes from who they are at the, at this point? Lost yeah, changer. That's, that's 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 culture actually. <laughs> who they are? That's culture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Actually, actually, that's that's culture. But then, yeah. but then their culture is actually different from ours. Yes. You know, and then their their culture permits a woman taking half of your property when you're when you're not ready to go. When the marriage fails. Yeah. When the marriage fails. Like it's part of their culture now. Years ago, it was not. When we, when we actually want to talk about this stuff, bar a hundred years ago, divorce, yeah. divorce, even in the West, Western world, then it was like a taboo. It's just like how it is around here, you know. Okay. But things Mer change with time. Mercy, Mer Mer I do you think the is the woman actually from Morocco? Is she from Morocco? No, she's not from Morocco, but she's oh, also she Arab. Where is she from? Where is she from? I, I don't. Is she? Is she? Are you sure she's from Arab? Yeah, she's also <laughs> Arab. If I'm not, um, okay. Let's let's check and see. Okay, but I think I think they don't share the same culture actually with the man. Are you just? Are Are you assuming? <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, uh, uh, Mr. Douglas uh, is trying his best to to analyze this situation <laughs> using culture and uh, religion. I understand. It's not bad now. Yeah. <laughs> she grew up and she was born. Up, up, I don't know. Maybe we would have to check and see. But she's Spanish. She's, but yeah, I she think was, she, she has Arab. There, uh, but she is from from, from 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 an Arabic family too. Yeah. Okay. I mean, even Hakim is Spanish. Was it so, so he came will, to Spain at a very young age. We will, we will, we will still we will still see that maybe there is variation and difference in their belief, actually. Or maybe let me say that based on the things that have happened to his colleagues in the past, he actually for for saw this thing coming. He knew that something like this will pop up, and at the end of the day, the woman will come after his wealth. Yes. Take note. So it, it's so not Akimi so that actually saw it. It's not. It's not Akimi that actually saw it. Arabic. So. Uh, Hakimi's mom actually was seeing what was Arabic, coming. So okay. Yeah. For example, now you you are Hakimi's mom, and Hakimi is just nineteen. He wants to get married. You'll be worried because yeah, he's, he's still a boy. You well, understand? Well, Josh, let's <laughs> so, even talk about that. Let's even talk about that. 19 is 19 is young in a way yeah. you've you've only been around for 19 years or married, yeah. but this is very young very young very very young. especially when you're married to an older person but <laughs> you know that the, the right age for marriage is when whenever when you're an adult and then adulthood starts from 18. <laughs> So now we are, he wasn't now a minor are, when she married. When you are adult, he was, he was, he was, he was a baby are, adult. Wow. He was, yeah, he was a baby adult, but he is an adult. He's an adult yes. light. He was not a minor. <laughs> yeah, he was not a minor when she married him. Yeah. He was on that sound mind. Like he could make he made decisions for himself. When 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 you're under 18, that's well, when she, you have she's, she's wiser than him. For you. Yeah, are she's, we, are we, she's, she's more experienced. She has lived yeah. in the world more than him. So. Are, are, are we supposed to bring numbers into this? Like, are we supposed to bring numbers? Because age is just a number. Of course, it, it proves that Hakimi and, is and still they, a child. They've they, 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 they been living prior to, to this particular incident. They've been living as husbands and wives. So we are not supposed to bring numbers to make him look as if he's not he, he, he's not matured or up like to he's a victim he's, for, he's actually not for. a victim he's just well numbers don't lie <laughs> and we don't really know what was going on in the marriage because it's a marriage between two people yeah but mm. but it, it was it was working before now you are not sure are you <laughs> <laughs> that we don't know. <laughs> yeah, actually, we don't. We don't actually yeah. know. We don't know yeah, what they were yeah. going through. But 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 you you know that's one thing about marriage. You cannot just you cannot just um uh, take a take from the outside. But then, that is where we are. That is our standpoint. We have to take our take from the outside since we are not in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, Mr. Douglas. Thank you very much. Yeah, th thank you, Lendo. I appreciate. It. Ah. That was actually fun. <laughs> like, <laughs> Douglas, no degree. like yeah. on a daily basis, uh, situations are giving Mr. Lendo point to his <laughs> PDGM movement. <laughs> don't don't bring that up. <laughs> don't, bring, <laughs> don't bring that up. Please don't bring that up. Yeah, don't bring that up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have another caller. Yeah, we have another caller. What? Who is mommy? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello, good morning. Morning. Who is on the line? Where are you calling from? I'm speaking with John Bullerson. Miserable! We actually thought it was Akimi's mom. <laughs> Radio captain. Hey, George, George Akimi and uh, Mr. Hadi. <laughs> <laughs> Punch lines. <laughs> <laughs> ah, <laughs> our, our brother, our brother. <laughs> no, no, that guy, that guy, that confirmed me, guy. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> did they, did they listen to you, though? <laughs> no, no. Uh, actually, you know, 
I know a lot of people have different opinion over this. You know, saying different things, you know, looking at the whole situation from different perspectives and, and different faith beliefs and all of that. Mm. But if you look at it, uh, outside of the law, outside of our culture, outside of any other thing, mm. you understand? Mm. What Hakimi did, <clears throat> I don't see anything wrong, even though a lot of people are saying uh, something wrong with that. There's nothing wrong. Whatever it is, you give to your mom. Whatever it is, you attach to your mom. If you if you have the entire wall and you decide to give it to your mom, there's nothing wrong with that. In the same way, there is nothing wrong if you give the entire wall to your wife. But now look at it from wow. my own perspective now. Okay. <laughs> this is Hakimi's wife. Mm. Now I'm trying to have almost half or even more than half and of half. his mm-hmm. entire training, so belongings, you know, mm. to walk away with it. Just like Would that. Hakimi's mother in, in, at any point in time will want to walk away from Hakimi. No, no, no I don't not, think it's so. It's not possible. You understand? So if, 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 if you truly love your man mm. and he is your man, you've taken him to be your man, you're married to this man, He's taking him to be your husband. He is the father of your children. Understand? Yeah. You will not see anything wrong with whatsoever your man is doing to his mom, giving his mom. We're talking about mother here. Yeah. You understand? So I, I, a lot of people are just saying things, things, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> wife, wife, wife. Is it not the same wife that wants to walk away? Not only walking away, she wants to. Finish the guy life. <laughs> you want to walk away with his wife. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, so, Josh, why you did uh, this right, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, in the same sense, Val, I'm not, I'm, I'm not backing anybody at this point, but... Wow. You know, when, when we talk about stuff, but we talk about now, most, most of us around here, we talk about things that happen around us. And then the truth is, when we talk about family, like the family you came from and then the family you made, we've seen situations whereby women are married to people and then maybe after the person passed, even when she has children with them, if she's not in charge of the person's wealth, most of, let's be realistic. The relatives. The relatives take everything and then they don't give him. I think that's where some people are coming from. But then we have to realize that he he is um, from a point of the marriage can clash at any time. Anything that has to do with celebrity marriage, we know. It's mm. not for better, for worse. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's circumstantial. So it's, it's when it favors... Better. Yeah, when it favors me, that's when, we're, that's when I'm stopping. So I, mean, I, I believe... How I'm seeing it is, it's, it has always been in his mother's name. He didn't see a, any need to transfer it to, maybe, I'm not even saying his wife's name, because I don't, I don't I mean, I'm, of, I'm of the belief that a woman is not supposed to, to, to require, not, let me not say require before people would cla- cancel me today. But <laughs> you know, everybody should make, uh, yeah. <laughs> should make his own money. And then I think if, if anybody should get anything from the guy, it should be his children. Mm, Again, yeah, yeah. because as yeah. as parents, one 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 one, and the people you you love the most are your children. I I, I guess Hakimi gave his mother his whole fortune because his mother has been there for him when nobody was, and she only did it because he was her child. Could, it, could it be because and, he and doesn't have they, a child with they, his wife? He has two they, children. He family. has. Yes. They, okay. They have two children together. Two boys. Yes, yes. How, how old are they? Yes. The first was born 2020. That's what I'm saying. The mm-hmm. first was born 2020. And, th- and I think the, la- the other one was either, which was last year, 2022. Just kids. So they're still kids. And, you know, kids are, even, even if he would have willed everything to his children at this point, good, the wife like would have gone for custody of the children. Yeah. And yeah. everything would still go with her. Yeah. So at this point, I think the logical thing he did was to give it to his mom. Maybe along the line, he might <laughs> change it. Which I believe he will. Uh, see, like, uh, see, <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, I understand everything you're saying. I understand your own perspective. If you look at it critically, you understand that 
everyone bearing his own opinion on this is not wrong. And it, uh, we cannot say everyone is wrong and everyone is right about this. Mm. Yeah. But we were wrong. Looking at it, I, yeah. <laughs> Super, I know. Everyone I know is saying his truth. Somebody will be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but now this is this is this is bringing out you know uh, the position of a lot of women and ladies in the society about marriage, and it's wrong. But your husband, be, if any woman backing up this, any woman standing against what I think he did, already, you are already posting, you are already standing as a threat to your husband, to your, to your guy, and to, you know, because it, it shows that at a point in time, you want to you also want to exercise do what something like that. Did. You understand? Yeah. So mom is your mom. Let's let's. In fact, I I keep saying things all the time. You can't change your mom, but you can change your wife. You can't change your. You your wife will leave you one day and she will go forever. You understand? <laughs> can you change your? You can't change your mom. Can't. And your mom Fact will us. never. Can't, bro. Fact. Do that. Your mom will never what? <laughs> you cannot even choose your oh, mom. No. Baba, but <laughs> let's not still dispute the fact that we've not heard stories. We've heard stories about how moms have done bad to their children. Mm. Not every not every parent is 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 perfect. Uh, who would you rather want to do bad? Your wife or your mom? <laughs> 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 no, I would prefer my mom to do bad to ah, me because oh. at you least her. she would do it with 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 small pity, you know. I have I, I okay. gave it to you even because of what well, she went through. See, see mm. I think. Uh, I think the, the the point here is if we can actually consciously look at the situation and what mm. he probably must have considered his mom to be to him and mm. what she has done, the sacrifice she must have. Yeah. I had she sacrificed a sure lot. He gets to this point. Yeah. Then I think if everybody would actually look at it like that, then it's not a big problem. Even your wife is not supposed to see it as a problem yeah. for you to have really? everything in your mother's name yes. or for you to that even really give <laughs> everything to your mom. What? Yeah. Well, it's, what uh, has your wife... Wa- what in, in this situation, in this mm. case, what has the wife done for Hakimi? Practically nothing. And then... Uh, in so my own so stand, nothing. Seems, it seems like the, the wife was not even aware of what was happening. Yes. Yeah, that was why yeah, she said... Yeah. She was not aware. The, whole, the yeah, headline was, we saw, they said she, she was, demanded if half, she was more aware, than she half of his property. <laughs> for it. If she was <laughs> aware, she wouldn't go for so it. So another question is popping out here. Uh, okay. Uh, Hakimi made a decision like this and his wife is not aware. But this is a why? decision they said he made before he met her. She made the decision to take his money and his, he was not aware too. Like, <laughs> I, I know some books, all these marriages books and uh, a relationship. Give me with some, uh, <laughs> you know, all these relationship uh, coaches, uh, advisors, they do say that you should, when when you are getting married, you make uh, I give me you make financial uh, agreements with mm. your spouse, stuff like that. Yeah, that's that's the prenup, no? That is when she wasn't aware that his property was not under his name. Siba. That means they didn't do. They don't. They didn't have anything they, like they that. They didn't have a prenup. They didn't have. They it. didn't have a prenup. They just had a court wedding, and then the basis of a court wedding is when, like the, the you know, everything has everything about court is rule. When you have a prenup is when you say when I'm when. You don't want to give fifty yes, percent. When yeah, no, when, yeah, when you when actually the, state what you have. Hello. You yeah. State your liabilities. Mr. Booth, we are you with you. your debt, everything. <laughs> you want to go? We are listening, Mr. Booth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I, I, I just have to let others call. I know a lot of people are on the call yeah. queue. Thank but, you, but, yeah, Booth. Before I go, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Before I go, the, the thing, the thing here is simple. Actinidi is not wrong. <laughs> no, I support you. What he did is not wrong. He beat the system. <laughs> <laughs> It's just, it's just, you, you know, the whole thing is because he's a public figure and then this is like one of the public cases we've heard about guys giving everything they have to their mothers. And believe me, you, if it was a woman that did this, nobody would even shout. 
Because right now, as I'm sitting here, my mother is my next of kin. But Although I, th- I don't have money. But I think... Uh, why why is she next? Everything, ha- <laughs> having she everything next in? in his mother's name doesn't mean like <laughs> his, his mother has everything. Like, okay, I'm, I'm buying everything, but I'm going to buy it in your, your name. name. You get... Nobody can get it. And like, you know, a wife, lot... I, this guy see this thing coming. Kiba, he saw it. Apart, apart from even <laughs> Hakeem himself. This I, guy saw this thing coming. There's this, there's this other it. Instagram influencer in Nigeria that it happened, I think, some weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Um, she was dating this guy. She's not even married to him. All these big girls and papaya level and the rest. The girl did housewarming mm. for a house. The guy actually bought the house. I think he bought it in his mother's name. And then when she saw the document, I think they were living together. She got angry and everything. And because he wanted to he'll be with her at that point, mm. he, he lied to her. And he told her that he has changed it to her name. Mm. And then he changed, he gave her document to, you know, they had a misunderstanding. She left the house. And then a few days later, she came back with police and everybody. Evacuate. And demanded the guy should, he's not married to her. She's not his wife. Wow. It's just his girlfriend. They're not even engaged. Wow. This thing happened in Nigeria a few weeks ago. I didn't see any girl shout about this whole stuff. And then she came with Mopol inside van and demanded they arrest the guy that he was on her property. They stay in Lagos, in Lekki. Mm. So the estate they stay, the, you know, those estate agents, those people that work in the estate, yeah. the, the guy came and then he was like, when he held, the, when he had the whole thing was happening. Like mm. it was causing chaos. Oh. This girl did housewarming. She lied to everybody she bought the house. And when they came, she showed him the document. She presented the original one and it was in his mother's name. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Who is on the line? Where are you calling from? Um, this is from Lagos. Sorry, did you get it? You didn't no. get the name of from Lagos? I'm from Lagos. Lagos. Oh, sorry. I just heard Lagos. I didn't get your name. Sorry. I said this is Polum. Polum from Lagos. Oh. Okay, Polum from Lagos. <laughs> Good morning, Lemuel. What's up? Good morning, Mercy. Good morning, George. Oh, what's the other person's name? Yeah. Yeah, morning. That's George. <laughs> 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 well done. Are you calling on behalf of Akimi? <laughs> Akimi's mother or Akimi's <laughs> wife? <laughs> I'm coming on behalf of Akimi's issue. Ah. This is serious matter. Uh-huh. Straight from the court. <laughs> it is. It is really a serious issue because to me, from beginning, mm. I think there is trust issue in the marriage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Number one point. Because if I trust my partner, there is no need me buying things in my mother's name. That is just the truth. Yeah. Now, look at it in this way. Now, he everything he has in his mother's name, right? Mm. And he's married. He has kids. God forbid, if anything happens to him today, and that woman, let's say she is not capable, or maybe she doesn't have a business, or she doesn't have what she's doing, mm-hmm. tell me how she wants to take care of those kids. Well, in this case, she does now. No, let's assume she wasn't having anything. Thank God yeah. she had something this doing. Another situation, I mean, yeah. she doesn't have anything doing now. What will happen? <laughs> and we can only assume his parents would take the kids. <laughs> that is it, you know. But okay, let, this is it now. It has happened. Everything he has in his mother's name, right? Yeah. Mm. No, not everything. Eighty percent of. Uh oh, she's gone. Even 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 if it's the everything, but eighty percent of his I wages. I he has kids and then he has, yeah. he has so he has a backup plan. I like to plan. think maybe all his income eighty percent goes goes to his mom. And then they've not said the, where the rest of the twenty percent goes to. To him, it might be to charity. Eighty percent, twenty percent to him. It might be to charity. Who knows? Yes, you're back. Based on the whatever. network, the network is bad. It's raining back here. Oh wow. So. Oh, yeah. Now, what the wife have is going to take 50% out of it because in his name, there was nothing. But Do you understand? So, to me, it means he is actually the one who is, is actually a bad now. You know, everybody now is looking at the wife. She's a gold digger. She's a gold digger. She isn't. Because, number one, she isn't poor. But she has the moves. 
<laughs> She's making moves. Yeah, she, oh. she will definitely move. <laughs> she will definitely move. My own was bad. Go if, diggers move. You, you know, this 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 50% she was demanding, it was not for the kids. Though. Let's be realistic. She was actually oh, demanding it for herself. And it for. She will not demand it for herself because she will definitely take care of the kids. No, if, 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 if she wants to take care of the kids, she would him. have demanded and for child support. But she wants 50% of his property. But okay, hold on. Do you know what really leads to this? I know. I think I have an idea. It was about yeah. the whole little so case. So, if and... a man, yeah. if a man will have to, will have to go into that. Let's say, let's even forget about the rape issue. Let's go for the infidelity. Can you take it if your man is not faithful to you? Will you take it? And do you even know if maybe she already know or she has a clue that the husband is not buying anything in it? He doesn't have anything in his name. That is why she she wanted to divorce him because if my husband will be will be bold to transfer all his property to ah this rain in Lagos. <laughs> wow. <I> think, <laughs> if she was aware, she wouldn't she make that move. For all of this yeah, shows. yeah. Uh, ah. She was not aware. She was actually in the loop. Yeah, she 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 was in a serious loop. Oh. <laughs> that loop <laughs> said, I don't trust this or what. <laughs> now I'm just scared. I don't know why it keeps cutting. Oh, you're Let's back. Walk. It's Lagos. I'm back, oh. Mm-hmm. We welcome, are on it. Welcome back, <laughs> mommy Hakimi. <laughs> this one is Mrs. Hakimi. <laughs> <laughs> if if the if 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 I'm to be a wife to him and he doesn't trust me enough to even keep his properties to his name, I didn't even say if you put it to my name. He did that because he has a motive. That is just the truth. He did that because he has a motive. Let's believe he and has. But that it was a good motive. The, the, the wife knew that. That's <laughs> why she actually lose. filed for that divorce <laughs> because it is what it is. It, uh, 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 you then have everything in your mother's name. What are you trying to tell me? You don't trust me, so why did you marry me? Okay, but you married you for company. But, but, but wait, he should have it. He should have it in his in his name so that when she's going, she can take it. Who told you she was supposed to go? It's something that leads to something. Oh, she, they have been married for a while now. This is fact. And she's going now, and she's demanding and this. And the rape case that made her wait to divorce him okay. do you know that she did not make up that okay i want to leave this guy it's because of the rape case and the infidelity that made her to file a divorce <laughs> you know she's, uh, not, she's Polum, not the first woman that is demanding uh, this. Polum, we, like, we've had such dollars. kind of we've had such kind of situation emmanuel a boy he lost everything due to divorce he lost he everything homeless he become homeless he was jobless he had nothing Based it's on this kind of situation, so his mom actually saw everything. And well, what I'm saying is, in those <laughs> scenarios, right? Mama in those scenarios, know? in what happened, in those things that happened, was it the same case? You and I know, Mercy, that if today you are married and you find out that your husband is not to God forbid, you likely then that is number one. Then you don't find out again that he is a rapist. Number two. Then they don't found it again that he, he's, he's not he's not yet a rapist. Not, <laughs> the case no, is in the court. The case is the case is in the court. He's not, he's not he has yes. not been proven guilty. And he's not the first footballer in the yes. last year that has been accused of rape that has been proven. Possibly. <laughs> she's she's go, I, yeah, somebody uh somebody actually said um sim- similar thing to me that why am I encouraging a rapist or why am I supporting a rapist? He's not he a rapist. He's a this mere point, allegation. He's not a rapist yes. because they have not, It's not the same thing now. We we went through the same thing with Greenwood. Yeah. Yeah. And then Greenwood we have Benjamin accused. Mendy as well. Yes, Benjamin Mendy, a lot of them. And then it was proven to be false. Yeah. You know, women, your gender can do anything just to get back at <laughs> our gender. We're not over to the case oh. is <laughs> No, we are here for you. <laughs> 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 so let's look at um, the case. Of, there are so many women that have passing through so many things in their home, right? But some people have the energy, have the um, shock absorber of absorbing anything that comes their way. While some don't, others are kept quiet with managed years. But we don't have the same capacity of managing situations. 
I can I, could, I will be able to manage my own situations and you will not be able to manage your own situation and I won't blame you for that because it's what you believe or is what you can treat. As I am talking to you, I can't stay under a roof of a man who cheats or accepts I don't know and he dare not show it to me. What if he's a Muslim? Now Muslim get that one. Hakimi is, is a Muslim now. Hakimi is a Muslim now. And he is a Muslim, but he's not. He, he needs to get three more. He needs to get three more. Is a different case, but he's not marrying a second wife. Uh, how is no, he going they to said, get married? They said, they said he's she, what we are, what we are basing this whole stuff is. Oh. Maybe she's listening to us. What yeah, we are basing this whole talk on is maybe he he cheated. Him having an affair, or oh, maybe he was dating the girl. She thought he was cheating on her with. Or maybe he wanted another wife. Mm. Hakimi's wife. Muslim she's and he's entitled to have at least four wives. And she's already going out with someone. No, at yes. most. Mate, at most. Not at, Men do. at most. Yeah, at most Hello. four wives. <laughs> yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Who is on the line? My name is Lollipop from Lagos. Ah. Hmm. Lollipop. Lagos. Is it raining in Lagos? <laughs> Sorry? Is it raining in Lagos? Raining cat and dog. No. It's not raining in Lagos. In his own part of yeah. Lagos. <laughs> okay, in your own part of Lagos. Somebody just called us that it's raining, raining in Lagos. Maybe, maybe. Where is the guy? From mainland or island? We don't know. know. We don't know. <laughs> 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 they ask. <laughs> you know that mainland, you did, I mean, you did island. We are there everywhere. We did ah. airline. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard our conversation? Yeah. What is your take? Baba, seriously, for me, for me. Yeah. Baba, <laughs> that's your opinion. Uh, my opinion, eh? For yeah. me, the guy. I was just say the guy met us prior. The guy messed we up? Yeah, the guy. Okay. Eh? Tell okay. us why you think he messed up. Is that? Tell us why you feel he messed up. Hello? Why did he mess up? Hello? What's, what's your, Are you hearing us? What's your reason? For saying he messed up. My reason is that because after he share everything, he share that fifty percent with her. He's going to like move on. For mm-hmm. all this. And if you remember, this guy was saying that he, he can't suffer what he suffer before making it in life. Mm. His mom has suffered for him. She has to sweep. Mm-hmm. For many places, just to sponsor in career. Yeah. So just a lady from nowhere. She will just come and take his department and just left. Ha. Uh uh. You're confused. I, I don't, you're I don't understand what you <laughs> I thought you say he's he has messed up for for allowing his for keeping his money with his mom. Baba, me for me, for me, eh? Yeah. Yeah. For me, what the guy did. I, I, I was just happy since yesterday. Wow. <laughs> Baba, I even I say you, you enjoy what you do, Abby? Because I even know. yesterday, when I posted it <laughs> on my status, when my girlfriend saw that, she was telling me that, okay, now, nah, fine. I should go and be nice my mom. I said, oh, ah, ah, that was, that was like extreme. That. that was extreme. <laughs> Baba, you reach like that. <laughs> Since yesterday, uh, she was like uh, calling no me. nuts for you. So it's because of nuts. They want to take it 50%. You know, I Lagos, I do. I shall hold it. Uh-huh. <laughs> ah, brother, <laughs> Lollipop. Yeah. Uh, no wonder he's lollipop. <laughs> ah, yes. Ah, yes. I will go pay one, one five. One five. I don't ah, okay, do one, one hour. I don't it's one Lollipop. Five. Is that cheap? <laughs> it's all of the 50%. I, I percent. <laughs> Thank you for calling. <laughs> okay, I take care. <laughs> you know, this guy actually got me confused. I thought he was against the yeah. whole thing, and then he said Maybe the guy yeah. tried at the end of the day. Maybe he was trying to say he messed her up. Yeah. <laughs> but, but 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 the whole the, the reality, I guess, is if if you remove sentiment, eh, mm. in this whole stuff, and if, if if you realize a few men are actually on the wife's side and. A few women are, some men, few men are try- like, some men are trying to impress their, their wives and people they are with, I guess. And then few women, like myself, are on the guy's side. <laughs> but 
eighty percent of the people on the woman's side are women, and then we're actually comparing it to okay, if it is us, we would want it to be like this. That's the reality. But the truth is, let's say the case is reversed now. You know, a similar stuff happened. Um, I think a few years ago between Adele and her husband. Oh wow. Adele, uh, when, uh, when they divorced, the man got half of her properties. But it was not an issue. Even me, I, di- I didn't actually see it as an issue because he didn't just give her moral support. He, w- he wrote most of her songs. Oh, wow. Yeah. He, mo- he wrote most and co-wrote most. He, he was either the writer or they wrote it together. Wow. So the whole support he gave her, she became who he, she is because of the support he gave her. So when they finalized giving... There, w- there was no prenup, so the, he was he, he was actually supposed to get half of it. But why we didn't see anybody shout? No, actually, women shouted at that time. That was what got my attention because as of then, I was not even a fan of her deal. But a lot of women were saying it was unfair. But then, few years later, something like that should happen well, more. Before, before then, I think Jeff Bezos divorced his wife, and then the woman became a billionaire. One she of the richest women. Billion in divorce. Even though for her she used the money generously because she used half of more than half of the money for charity. Twenty six, I think. Yeah, and Not then she 26. married. Who did she marry next? She married a very very young guy that is a teacher, a classroom teacher. So he's not rich, and I think they divorced presently. They divorced. Yeah, they divorced. Was it this year? I think with with, with the divorced. young guy. Yeah. And he cashed out. Yeah, he, he definitely you cash out because. Well, I say we'll just go to this western area, Moku. But Mari. let's see if this point. <laughs> Do you know why this uh, is so she's issue a gold now? digger. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm just about to make a Do move. You know why I'm a gold digger. <laughs> it's an issue now because um, wim- a woman is not winning in this case. But let's let's come back. We have women that are rich. What, some of the richest women on earth. Why do you think Oprah is not married? Mm. Has a partner. They've been together for over 30 years. And they're not married. They're living together. They are doing everything as married couples. But they're not married. And Oprah is one of the richest women on earth. Yeah. Rihanna is not married yet. And coming back to people like Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian was actually married. She mar- When she married Kanye, we all know the story. They said he was in debt. Well, she had money then. Yeah. According to everything we heard. She had money. She brought him out of debt. But they had a prenup. Yeah. Even before they got married, th- they signed the prenup. And then, why was their divorce not messy? The only messy part was Kanye didn't want to, he didn't want to let go. He yeah. said he's a Christian, he wants his children to grow this one down and down. He was, all, he was using his religious point of view and everything. But it was never about finances. Because it was finet. When we divorce, you're getting this. I think she got, was it 50 million? From the divorce because that was what their prenup said even before he became who he is oh she got some of the houses and then they both got custody of their children beyonce is still married to jay-z one of the one of the richest entertainers on earth she's one of the richest female entertainers she's one of the richest male entertainers both of them have money and they have a prenup if she divorced him today <coughs> she's going with nothing apart from everything they bought and he has been accused of infidelity she, she, and she forgave him. Why? Just like, Why? Well, because, no. because she, she's rich. You know, you, it's not even because <laughs> she's rich. She's not a gold digger. It's not, it's not even because she's rich, but forget. A lot of women have caught their husband cheating and they actually, they were not rich. The truth is, it's just like what, what Polum said. She said, people are different. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't expect Akimi's wife to stay with him if that is not who she is. Forget. Maybe cheating is a deal. You know, everybody has a deal breaker for them. Cheating might be a deal breaker for her. She can't cope with someone that has cheated on her. But some women are there receiving left, right, and center. You think a lot of powerful women have been cheated on. But the truth is, when, when you know what you want, and then you're convinced this is what you want, you will definitely go for it. Uh, for me, I think the moment one is married, from the clauses, like in a church wedding, they say for better or worse. That that means no matter what the person does, well, most of you stay together, you stick together. I know. Mm. I'm just saying according to yeah. this. So for better or worse, you should remain in the 
marriage. And the Bible has this uh, exception of if you cannot cope, you can divorce. But when you divorce, you will not get married to anyone again. It's not even if you can't cope. The Bible says except infidelity. In the case of infidelity. Yeah. Bible tough, sha. You can. (laughs) (laughs) That's when you are allowed to divorce. And then both parties, not just the woman, the man cannot have relations outside. The man can't also have relations outside. Yeah, except because in the whoever, case of death. Yeah. Yes, whoever has anything to do with those people is an adulterer. Yeah, yeah. So that's the Bible. That? Yeah, that's <laughs> the Bible. But then when you see a lot of people, like a lot of powerful women, let's be realistic, a lot of powerful women have prenups. And then we women, but <laughs> I don't want to say, oh, we get me cancelled from the woman race. Before they go tell me to train it before I read it. But <laughs> cancel culture. Yeah. Cancel culture is working <laughs> on everybody. They can cancel me about you. Well, I don't know if you show my face oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> So but but the truth is, um we women like forming victims even when we are not. Yeah. Right. I'm not right. saying in this case the woman isn't the victim or what he did is right. But I don't think she's entitled to fifty percent of his money. What I feel is she would have demanded for money for maybe full okay. custody of their children mm. on the basis of he's a footballer, he travels a lot and stuff like that. So for the children to be in a stable family, they can have visitation rights or they can have joint custody and mm. then have him pay her child support. Yeah. I don't think she's entitled. This is money he worked for. If she was richer than him, let's say the cases are reversed, mm. eh? Even if she was the one that cheated on him. Mm. No girl will shout and say, I think she get half of her money. No, I don't no, think. Let's, let's be realistic. Just think. few people might demand for it. And those are people that want equality. The truth is, we, we, we always shout about equality, equality, and we don't even know what it means. A lot of people don't know what it means. A lot of girls feel equality is when a woman is, also, is always right. It's a lie. Mm. <laughs> equality is when I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong. When I'm right, tell me I'm right. Equality. You get there should be no bias. When a woman is wrong, they should she should she should face the consequences. And it's of not all she, about the, the human gender. Yeah. This all this gender. Whole, you see, feminism is even different from this female agenda. I don't even think it's not fe- what they are doing now is not even feminism. They should they should stop calling it feminist. They should stop calling themselves Mod- feminist. Modern women. You see, all these <laughs> modern women, and what they want is not equality. They just, they would, I think, I think a lot of girls would be happy if men stop existing. Because the only reason a lot of girls want men around is if the men, obvious. Uh, factually, yeah. if men stop existing, women will also stop existing. Yeah, but let's so say we there need would each be other. a way women can live alone on earth. And they will keep on multiplying. Oh. All the people they will give birth to will be girls. You understand? How would they get pregnant? That's what I'm telling you. There let's was a way. Yeah, assuming. <laughs> let's use our imagination now. Don't let's want to remove, imagine that. Yeah, let's remove that. <laughs> a lot of girls will want it. But uh. the truth is, Ba, um, if we're sitting like this, there's this video I watched and he said, he said, you, you're a traditional man. He said, yes. He said, okay, let me ask you this question. If you go to a restaurant and say, I want to date. He said, you. If I come to pick you up for a date, don't you expect me to open your door? Yes. If a guy attacks us now, do, won't you want me to do something? She said, yes. And he was like, why is it difficult for you to cook for me? When I'm doing all of these stuff for you, I'm, not doing, I'm risking my life to fight someone that might be way stronger than me. This person might just come out of the blue. Maybe he's even crazy. Or you would want to, you would first push me where I go, <laughs> go and meet him. <laughs> you get. And uh, these are these are what women want, and then we want to always be right. You know, a lot of things women have done against men. It's just that we don't even take the male gender serious. And this is something that is dear to me, something that gets me angry almost every day. I'm not saying men are right, but the fact that women have been oppressed for a while, we feel. This is our time. So instead of us to demand that equality we said we want, we're actually going for vengeance. Okay, we want this by fire, by force. Whether it's, whether it is right or it's wrong, we 
it should just be like that. And Which is wrong. That's why it's a lot. I am of the view that any girl that accuses a man of rape and the case is okay, and, and then the man is found innocent, she should serve double the jail term. True. True. That is what I stand for. That's because true. it's getting too rampant. Yeah. I saw I, on Twitter the other day, I saw a girl that accused her bestie of rape. And then she came like after, a, after a, a few a, days. A male bestie? Yes. Okay. After a few days. And it was, it was the guy <laughs> showed the whole chest. She made advances <laughs> at him and he refused to sleep with her. That was why she accused him of rape. She accused him of rape and then after a few days, I think after they spoke, he mm. told her to she apologized. <coughs> she came publicly and said it. Oh, he raped her. So, so thing. She came out and apologized and said everything she said is false. Is false. And after she made it clear, the guy went to. He said he spent two days. This even cost five between two Nollywood actresses. Wow. And the two of them are best friends. Right now, last as of last week, they've stopped talking. Because the other one said what the girl that what the guy did that he's just looking for, he's, he's just chasing clout. The guy went to. He went to police station for two days. He tried filing the case. This girl tarnished my image. And she did a lot of bad to my image. She stained my reputation. At least call her in for Chris Tony, right? Mm. The police did nothing about it. But just imagine this girl didn't, didn't come out and say, okay, everything I said was false. This guy might, might be in jail now. For a crime he knew nothing about. And then this girl is gallivanting the street. Maybe as I'm talking to her, she's with one other guy trying to flame him for rape. Uh, like, <laughs> that we don't know, actually. You get so <laughs> when 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 offense like this mm. go unpunished, that is when women feel entitled to a lot of stuff. That's when women grow up and then feel yes, I can I can wake uh, up one day. Generally, and man. generally women like to to feel like uh, they are victims in all situations. Mm-hmm. And the world will always give them sympathy. So that makes them to always accuse men of things they have not done. Yeah. And the slightest thing they can say is, he raped me. And then the whole world will be on the woman's side. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. saw, I saw a video the other day on about just one celebrity, I've forgotten her name. She, she made mention about um, Johnny Depp's case. She said she knew he, was, he, was, he wasn't guilty. He was innocent, beginning. yeah. But if that case was not made publicly, you know, the, the, the whole court case was televised. People yes. saw it. They saw the lies and the way the woman behaved and the way she changed her stories. Mm. That was why a lot of people didn't shout um, that what she, what she, well, the, the ruling was wrong. Yeah. But because it was public, a lot of people kept quiet. But just imagine it was just a normal case. That it was done behind closed doors. Mm. And then... It came out that the guy they would they would just say is um, silencing, they are silencing women's voice. They are doing, <laughs> this, they are doing. No, we've heard it now. Yeah. <laughs> whenever anything doesn't go through, most especially these Western women, whenever anything don't go their way, they come out and then they are, they are like, um, they are silencing us. Mm. They don't want me to say the truth, which fifty percent of the time. Let me not say eighty percent. But fifty percent of the time, what they are saying is wrong. Yeah. They're not actually right. But mm. then we're not ready for that conversation. Yeah. <laughs> only women, only women are allowed to fight with women. But women are allowed to fight with men when it comes to cases like this. Mm. You get that was why one of one of the best <laughs> um, write-ups I liked was when they said I Hakim Hakimi used a woman to defeat a woman. Yeah. He used to, imagine if 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 the case was. He, Between a man. Yeah, imagine if he, he has willed everything to his dad, or everything was in, in his father's name or his brother's name. It would have been a different case. Yeah. But if the fact that it's another woman, and a lot of people don't even want to talk about it, because it concerns both genders. Yeah, speaking from mother's perspective, yeah. and then from the wife's perspective, yeah. it's all about women. All women perspective. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> there's no way we won't support our own. <laughs> you get so you no. support your wife and forgetting the fact that you be a mother one you day. You get yes, that <laughs> is that is the truth. <laughs> and the truth is, how many of us won't want a son like Hakimi? Every mother wants a son that would buy her a house. Uh, ideas. 
fit her well, get her a driver. It's like every mother's basic dream. And then give mm. me grandchildren. That is just the basic dream. But then when it comes to, when, when you're the wife now, mm. you don't want your, your, your husband doing those stuff to your <laughs> mom. But, but, but if he was doing it to your mom, you would be okay. What has, what has been done has been done, Sha. Everybody will always have opinion. So let's, <laughs> we can't finish talking about this actually. Well, so Josh, final words, one second. Okay, uh, like someone was saying on the Facebook Live that the lady in the middle <laughs> deserves beer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Messi, <coughs> about to go. That's not my final word. My final word is <laughs> shout out to Akimi for beating the system. <laughs> 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 shout out for him for giving us this format. Okay, All yeah. right. Messi. Women, we should stop being victims and stop being opportunists. We should just work hard for what is ours. So that we would have a voice. Okay, thank you guys. <laughs> <laughs>